Hello everyone. Uh, I wanted to share this map with you, and it, but before we do that, I wanted you to think about what a map is. So if you think about what a map is, it's a picture from up in the air, looking down on the ground. On the map, to represent different things, uh, they have to use colors. So for water, they use blue. Uh, sometimes forests are green. Now, buildings are squares. Uh, roads could be lines with different colors. But how do they represent hills on a map? Because that's really hard to do. So I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit on this map and you'll notice there are some lines on the map. So if you look very carefully, you're going to see some lines. Those lines each represent an elevation above sea level. If the lines, and they're called contour lines, if the lines are close together, then that represents a hill. These lines are far apart, so this is a flat area. So let's make a hill. Here we go. Watch what happens when I make a hill. Boop. You can see how the lines are now close together. Now you'll also notice some water has appeared. So what's happened is I've dug down close enough to the ground, underground, and I've hit water. So that happens in real life. So let's cover that up. We're gonna make the watershed, the Grand River watershed, and that watershed is a main river and all of its tributaries. So in Ontario, Southern Ontario, here are a bunch of watersheds. So there's, there we go. So let's build the Grand River watershed. Uh, so the Grand River starts up near a place called Dundalk, and it's about as wide as your desk at school and it travels downhill. So here's the Grand River. That's the main river in our area of the world. It goes through a bunch of towns. It goes through Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge, Paris, Brantford, Caledonia, Dunville, and it makes its way to one of the Great Lakes. It makes its way to Lake Erie. So let's make Lake Erie. Here we go. And there we go. You can see the water flowing downhill here to Lake Erie. All right, that's awesome. Now, there are some tributaries that flow into uh, the Great, the Grand River. So if you live in Guelph, we have the Speed River. So there it is, right there. If you live in Paris, we have the Nith River. It's a very windy river and it joins up with the Grand in Paris and there's a bunch of other rivers that join up. So we're going to, there's the Grand. Now how does the water get in the Grand River? Gets in from these other rivers, but also gets in from the sky. And so uh, when it rains, that water, uh, when it rains in our area of the world, that water ends up in the Grand River. So I can get some rain going. There we go. So you can see it going into the Speed River and it's flowing into the Grand River right there near Cambridge. And same with the Nith. So we can get some water. It eventually flows into the Grand River just near Paris. So you can see that. Now occasionally, uh, especially in the springtime, when it uh, rains and we get a lot of snow melting, we get extra water. So sometimes we actually get flooding. So here's the extra water, see what happens. Just notice where all the water goes. Some of it flows down the hills into the Great Lakes. Some of it flows uh, across the land and some of it gets stuck on the land. So you can see the low areas that's where um, the water gets stuck. And so that's one way we get extra water. The other way the water gets in the river is there's water underground. If you dig down far enough, uh, you can hit water. And so sometimes that water percolates up to the surface. It's called springs and it goes into the river that way. 
So you can see that happening. Sometimes we, uh, in the, especially in the summertime, we sometimes don't get very much rain, and so we get droughts, and so we get very little water flowing, which isn't very good, especially if you're a creature that lives in the water. Um, so one of the things the Conservation Authority does is we have some dams upstream of Lake Erie. Uh, on, on the Speed River, we have a dam. Here's my dam. I'm gonna make one. I'm gonna put it right about there. So there's Guelph, and here's Guelph Lake right behind it. So behind the dam, there's a reservoir. If you're from Guelph, you'll, rem you'll recognize that. Uh, there's a dam on, this, on the Grand River uh, called Bellwood, and there's a dam on the Conestoga River called the Conestoga Dam. So they all do the same thing. In the spring, if we get extra water, uh, those dams hold the water back, so you can see behind the dam here. Uh, and then that water is slowly released out into the river system over the summer. So that there's always water in the river. So you can see the Guelph Lake here, there's still water and it's flowing into the Grand. This is really important, especially if you live way down here in Brantford, because Brantford gets all of their water out of the Grand River. Now, let's see what happens when we get extra water again. One more time. Here we go. That's a drought. There we go. We'll see where the water goes. You can see it all flowing downhill. Some of it gets trapped on the land. Some of it soaks through the soil. Some of it runs into the river. So that is the Grand River Watershed. Thanks, we'll see you guys later.